guys, guys, we're here, and today we are playing Minecraft Story Mode, the fourth episode. And now we are here going to play the trivia. Lapis blue, lapis blue, diamond hose, no, yeah, diamond hose, um, birch, and waffle. Let's get to it. Ah, there you are. Are you ready to begin? I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's do this. It's about time. Uh, okay. Attention, everyone. Let all faithful friends of Fred gather, for our competition begins now. Oh, Yeah, Gather around, everyone. Will the contestants please take the stage? Please welcome Why don't you like the champion Kit and the Papa Challenger. Hey. Jesse. It's Jesse. Jesse! Let's That's the intimidation? Call me normal. I have that effect on me. No. It comes from being the best. What a pinnacle of intellectual fortitude. Oh, Fred I wouldn't be Fred. so sure of that, Kent. Fred is my middle name. Uh, a likely story. Uh, For our first question, well. I thought we'd mix it up a little. I oh. challenge you to build a faithful representation of our dear Fred. Yeah! Jesse's the best at building! Not the time, Radar. Begin! Yeah. Okay, so... No... Oh shit. No block. I no her. We don't have that much. Come on, we need to get rid of that. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Okay, you can do this. Oh no! You can look up here and still see it. Wait. It's gonna look like crap. Oh god. We definitely need a face here. Okay. I can't do it right here. If we had the right tools.
I wouldn't be complaining. Okay, and we need the green. Because we don't have any other green. No, shit. This is not the brightest. Oh, we can't put any more? Okay. Kind of looks like it. Um. I guess this will do. We're probably not going to win. Perfect. Nice. Yes, yes, yes! Jesse, it's as if you've known Fred his full life. What? How could you say that? That this thing looks nothing like our fallen leader. Fred's true spirit didn't lie with his exterior, Kent. But what was underneath? This is his true essence. Though, I must give you points for accuracy. Such... Painstaking detail. Oh, that's nothing, Michael. Come on. I declare this round a draw. What? This was quite possibly the best presentation of Fred in the history of our competition. Now for the questions. Kent, you will go first. Of course. Remember, you have a limited time to answer. What was Fred's favorite food? Oh, that's easy. Any truly faithful friend would know that Fred enjoyed bread. Correct! Now you, Jesse. Fred was a loyal fan of the color blue. We all know that. But what kind of Lapa. blue did he love the most? Your time begins now. Come on, Jesse, you can do this. No, um, fuck! God like damn it! Oh, I'm truly sorry, Jesse. That is not correct. Shut up! goes to Kent. Let's see if Jesse can catch up. Unlikely. Next I'm question. Kent. Fucking Fred was fuck. a man of seven but he had one point of excess. His favorite tool. What was it? A I diamond had... hole. Obviously. Very good. Jesse, Fred had a constant companion. A fine, feathery friend. What was that pet's name? We actually met a chicken named Benedict. Oh, Fred's pet, his best friend, was named Waffles for the way he was always waffling. That is correct. Jackie, well done. Jesse, this is your last chance to steal victory. Listen closely, both of you. The final question is one that only the most faithful friend to Fred could possibly Fart. know. As such, it is worth double. Whoever answers this question correctly first will win one night in Fred's house. Of all the trees in the forest, of all the wood we once built our homes with, this was Fred's favorite. What was it? Wait, what? No one knows Birch. that. Fred didn't play favorites with resources. It's Birch. It's Birch! You... Yes. Yes! Birch was Fred's favorite. That's right! Yes, you won! <laughs> Way to go, Thank Jesse! Congratulations! Oh, that was very impressive. I'm sure I'm not the only one surprised by this turn of events. As your prize, you will spend one night in Fred's house. Be careful not to disturb its contents. And here are your sleeping garments. 
the true <laughs> mark of friend. Only the champion gets to wear these. It's a very oh, yeah, special privilege. I love them. Thank you. I'm going to help you, Kent. <laughs> you both have to. Jesse. I hope you find what you're looking for. Yep. You too. And cozy. I like this okay, outfit. Okay, if I were a weapon of some sort, where would I... Close it open. Nothing in here now. The button set that button. It's a uh... whoa secret room. There's got to be something down here. Okay. Three towns. There's the Oasis there, and the Keep. Third is Romeoburg. Seriously? What kind of name is a Romeoburg? Yep. Another book. Great. But it's unmarked. No author. Read it! I know I had my doubts, but it was worth leaving home. I'm glad I had Zara and Romeo with me. This... This is Fred's journal. I don't know what Romeo wants anymore. It hurts. All I wanted was the three of us together. Maybe we should have never left the cabin. We weren't just happy there. We were home. Wait, home? Then he wasn't talking about here. There wasn't a cabin on the map though. Nothing else in here. Maybe the others found something. Binta! Jesse, I... There's something I need to ask you about. Okay. Uh, how did you know the answer to that last question? It's not common knowledge. And it was shit I knew because Zara told me. She knew Fred better than anyone. Zara? As in Fred's Zara. The Zara. The one and only. She hasn't been seen down here in a very, very long time. You're more impressive than you seem. Maybe they're right after all. Maybe you are from above the bedrock. Rumors have been going around since your arrival. There aren't many people we don't recognize down here. Yeah, about that. Well, well did you what? at least find what you were looking for? This weapon? I don't know why Fred would have one. We still need... I'm afraid we need to ask him for more help. Oh? Fred mentioned a cabin where he, Zara, and Romeo lived. Romeo? Did they say Romeo? The admin? Yes, the admin. Right now he's in our town pretending to be me. We need to stop him. Problem is, we don't know where the cabin is. I want to help you, but there's something I need from you in return. Okay. If you're really from up there, then you must have a way back. Take us with you, above the bedrock. Above? Vita, what are you saying? We don't know what's out there. It has to be better than this. You welcomed us in. Of course we'll help you. Thank you. Sounds like you may have to do some convincing. They'll come around. The mycelium on this island has kept the monsters from spawning. And we've been safe here so far. But it won't last. Our only chance for a real future is up there. 
Zara is repairing the portal that will take us up. If you want to go through, meet us at the oasis. Fred left this to me before he... The needle points home. When he didn't come back, I tried to follow it, but got stopped at the gates to Romeoburg. They've got a massive army, so be careful. Please, take good care of it. You didn't have to do this. Thank you. Really. You're very welcome. I'll prepare my people. You take these. <coughs> Fireworks! Signal us when you're ready, and we'll be there. Great, you're here. We've got a new destination, so... Hey! Uh, wait, what? I, I don't think I heard that one. What did he say? He says he's not coming with us. He's going to stay here and wait for Jack. Hey. Um, we can't just leave you here by yourself. Jack, we don't know where Jack is, Nurm. Or when he'll be back. I think he said he's coming here because this was where we were headed. <laughs> we understand them. <laughs> he says he'll oh, look for the fireworks. Oh. Once he finds Jack, they'll meet us at the oasis. Hey, stay safe. Remember, he may not come back. You know, he's your buddy. He may not. He was talking full crap. You know. He's like, <sighs> I'm the best. Oh. And plus, you didn't tell me not to do it, so yeah. <sighs> Man, I can't believe how obsessed those people were with that Fred guy. So weird, right? I mean, shut up, Fred. One person I know fights like that. You are the real Jesse. I know. Hug him. It is I, your friend Ivor. I'm a ninja now, Jesse. What? Yeah, what? It all started when I fell through a portal into some sort of strange <laughs> world. Everything was all white. Master Shadow's domain. He claimed he was a ninja master, a practitioner of the Shadow Arts. At first, I wanted nothing to do with him. 
He was a very suspicious character. But eventually, after a lot of uncomfortable eye contact, he asked me, Sorry. me, to be his pupil. I was confused at first because he didn't exactly present his credentials or curriculum, but I'm always open to learning. I'm a student of life, after all. So I said, uh, yes, yeah, before I do it, I was yeah. punching trees, cleaning floors, all as part of my so-called training. At first, it seemed pointless. But after I had punched a forest's worth of trees and cleaned miles and miles of floor, two things became clear. Sometimes, doing menial tasks can be an amazing way to learn martial arts. And sometimes, strange old men just like tricking people into doing their housework. <laughs> anyway, it all worked out because now I'm a ninja. And my newfound ninja skills helped me find my way to you. Are you, are you done? Please, please be done. Ah, sure. Yes, I suppose I'm doing a lot of talking. I just had a lot to say after all of that quiet and mysterious business. It's so good to see you. This is insane. Oh, you know you miss. Hug! Get in here, Petra. What? No, no. So awesome. But seriously, what are you doing down here? Let me explain. You see... It all started when Harper and I returned from our vacation. We discovered that while we were gone, you had mysteriously vanished after fighting a prisoner in giant named the Admin. Right. Only to return, having defeated this Admin and taken his amazing powers. Wait, what? How yeah, did that's not that? right. I mean, you didn't believe it, right? I did at first. How could I not? Looked like you, sounded like you, except now you could fly around and had all sorts of cool superpowers. Jesse, aka the Ad, gave me this and told me he had reprogrammed it to find the fraud, aka you. But with my new ninja senses, hey. I could tell something wasn't right. Anyone who disagrees, anyone who questions Jesse, disappears. No, did all the people hidden. leave? Certainly not helping your reputation. No, but I knew that Jesse, the real Jesse, would never act like that. No. Nope. That's why I decided to try and use this opportunity to discover the truth. Luckily, it worked out because I would have felt terrible about killing you. Nope. Classic thing to say to your friends. I can tell you you're really being sarcastic. But you'd be surprised. Wait, wait, wait. If you weren't convinced, you would have killed me? The admins turned everything upside down, Jesse. It's very confusing up there. Speaking of home, I can't spend much more time down here. Sorry. If I don't get back to the prison soon and report in, the admin will know that something isn't right. That's perfect. You can make up a lie and he'll never suspect that I'm actually down here. Which will buy you the time you need to find Fred's weapon. Hold on! How'd you know about I'm that? I'm a ninja. Anyway, that plan is all well and good. But Yay. what exactly should I tell the admin? It needs to be plausible. But dramatic. Yeah, believable, but entertaining. We're still in prison. But shocking. But just tell him that I'm still obediently doing my time in the Sunshine Institute. Hmm, yes. I'm sure descriptions of your tear-stained cheeks and remorseful eyes will be quite the hit. You're a real poet, Ivor. Ninja! Ninja! I'm sorry I can't stay longer, but I must go. Go. We'll see you when we get back to the surface. Oh, wait. Can I borrow that amulet? Certainly, but why? Long story involving a portal and a magic frame, but it'll help us get home. Please hurry. It's getting dire up there. <laughs> Smoke bomb! <laughs> Ah! You saw nothing. You saw nothing. Let's go! We all just saw that, right? I, I didn't like hallucinate Ninja Ivor. Nah. -uh. Just when I thought that crusty dude couldn't get in here. It's awesome! And we're ready to roll. Come on, guys. Come on, guys, let's go.
And that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.